I am uh, sitting in a very comfortable couch uh, at the Badcast uh, booth. So uh, I'm super happy to be there. I have right next to me Peter, so he who is the CEO of uh, Badcast. Uh, Peter, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty well. Good. Yeah. Are you surviving uh, day one of the Nam Show? I do. I yeah. do actually. Yeah. And thanks for having me here. Yeah. Tell me a little bit uh, of a story regarding uh, Badcast. Oh, my story with Bad Cat, it goes back uh, approximately half a year. Okay. <laughs> I started working for them in October and uh, we started talking about doing some design work and it ended up doing four amps in four, mo uh, four months actually. Okay. We're ready for production by the way. So it's been, uh, I, I can't count the hours, I mean it's been 15 sometimes more than 15 hour days but it's been a tremendous ride and we're here at NAM and super stoked because people are apparently enjoying it and um, yeah I think we're gonna we're gonna have something to tell in the next few years excellent uh, when was the very beginning of uh, Bad Cat of the brand the brand Bad Cat goes back to uh, what was his name? James Heydrich and uh, Mark Sampson. And I think in 1999 they founded the, the company. And it was, I, I, I don't know exactly the story. John can, can actually tell you much better the, 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 the story. But um, most, probably most people will know that it emerged some, somehow out of uh, Matchless. Okay. So there is a, there is a mutual history. Um, and they came up with with the black hat which was at the time the dc30 just just with the name black hat basically uh, bad cat basically so um and it went through several ownerships and there was a lot of stuff involved and a lot of uh, emotions and uh, egos involved i would okay. say <laughs> and so John always says, and I like, and I like the way he phrases it. He says, "We're a 20 year old startup, and that's actually true. And we're about to take off." Uh, when people buy a bad cap amp, what are they looking for? What is the the DNA of a bad cap? The DNA of Bad Cat is actually that we're not going back to any sort of tradition. I mean, we're talking about guitar sounds, so for sure there's always some sort of a guitar, uh, of, a, of a DNA of an audio amplifier. Yeah. But we try really to move forward and, and not come up with something being like, oh, our take on this or that. We're we try to free ourselves and our free our minds from all that and just have fun with those new designs. Okay. Just going places and I think that's what we achieve. Everyone who will plug into one will probably get what I'm what I was just saying. And everything is still uh, made in uh, in the USA. Yes. Yeah. They are. Okay. Cool. Uh, before uh, we finish this, uh, what is your take on the 2022 NAM show? Good or bad? I like it. I, I like it, it very yeah. much. And, uh, you know, I was so much looking forward to going out again and seeing people, meeting people, and seeing people's reaction. I think there, 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 are, many, there are many people who are, who are saying it's, worth, it's the end of NAM and all that. I actually think that people want to experience things and are happy to reconnect. Yeah. We, just, we don't want... It's great to have all these opportunities working from home and all that, but it's also great to meet people in person and, and connect. Yeah, totally. I totally agree with you. Thank you very much, Peter, and I hope uh, we have some time to, to go to where you, you build all the you beautiful so machines. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Cheers. For the price of a magazine, subscribe to The Guitar Channel to access the full videos.